What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm excited to give you this snippet from an upcoming interview with a guy named Peter Pru. He is the founder of e commerce Empire Builders. And when I say Empire Builders, I'm talking about he's helped people build million dollar revenue businesses online. He's built multiple himself. And why am I doing this video on this channel? Well, first of all, artists today are building empires online that's exactly what you are doing whether it's from your music or whether it's from merch so learning about the digital space from different aspects outside of just typical music is something i'm going to be bringing more and more of to to the channel but this particular snippet right here is something you should all think about because we've heard of this issue happening before this threat about your audience and losing access to your audience but he had a real business making hundreds of thousands of dollars and lost access to all of his audience data exactly you're, you're exactly right and that's exactly with amazon that's how we got like screwed over with amazon right because we had some false claims made against what we were selling on amazon completely fake but amazon just banned us right it took us a year to get the account ba uh, banned you know account back from that point wow. and think about it guys like your fans right they're your fans like those customers on amazon those are my customers but i never had that data right like i wasn't able to do it so when you're building your business make sure and the strategies we're going to be talking about is going to like do this for you, but you need to pull them off of YouTube, pull these people off of uh, your podcast, pull them off of Instagram, right? Create an asset for yourself. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, well, like, how do you do that? Like, what, what's like, how do you, what do you mean pull it off? Well, like for one, like getting their email address, getting their contact information. A lot of people say that like email marketing is dead. Nobody checks their emails anymore. Nope. But I can tell you like every business that I've ever had, right? Every business that I've ever had, the only tangible asset, like something that you can take and put it on a USB drive and like go wherever in the world, right? That e email list is your, your most valuable possession, right? It doesn't matter guys. Like the reason, like, for example, like, like, so look at your, like your best friend, let's say he emails you, right? You're going to open it, right? Yep. Right. You're going to open it. Same thing goes for us. It's the relationship you have with the people on your email list. They should be excited to open your email, right? Like, and you, you should be providing like valuable content for them or, or new music or whatever it is that you're, you're putting out to them, you know? And a part of that, so and that's a, a great point because one, I even did a video on this probably a couple of weeks ago, just the fact that no, email lists are not dead. Like even if you look at the percentages of my traditional email openings or people I've worked with, it's, on par or even greater a lot of times than how many people see your Instagram post, right? Mm -hmm. so, so that's one thing. But the second part is you said they should be excited to open your emails. That's up to you, mm -hmm. right? Like you shouldn't be spamming your audience and that you, you create the, the circumstance on whether they're not opening your particular emails or not. There's a lot of emails that I, I scroll right past, but there's some people who email me and I'm like, let me check this. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, like, I actually just had this conversation with somebody earlier today is like, think about, okay, so let's say email, you know, open rates, they're, they're all low, right? A lot of people don't open their emails anymore. It is, it's fine. Right. But you have to think about your cause, your fans, your customers, your potential customers, like think about different people, how they consume things. Like for instance, like I have a YouTube channel, right? It's not huge, but I have a YouTube channel, right? I also have a podcast, right? I have people that listen to my podcast that have never, ever, ever been on my YouTube channel. Right? I have people that are on my Instagram that have never been on my podcast or my YouTube. I have people on my email list that have never been on any of those things. People can consume content differently. So you're never going to be able to reach like 100% of your, your, your audience that you, you have. But think about it. You get 20% on the email, you know, another 4% on Instagram, you know, another 5% on YouTube. Right? You, you start getting them from other places. So that, that number, it goes, it goes drastically higher. Right? So it's worth having that asset because if you don't have that, e like an email list or, or, or something that you control, because all of these platforms, like, like they can shut you down, like for no reason, guys, like I felt it really bad because it impacted my, like literally my revenue. But like, even like YouTube, even with my YouTube channel and like my podcast, I'm like, okay, how can I get people off this? Cause you never know what might happen. They might not rank your video for whatever reason they decide, right? All right, so that's a snippet. Be looking out for the full interview. The link in the description below will be active the moment the actual full interview drops, but there's something that he said right there. One thing that I really want to clarify when it talks about controlling your audience, is not just about being able to control your audience, it's about being able to own your audience. Because there's two types of traffic online, right? There's a 
traffic that you have no control over, right? You might have a website, you might have a streaming page, they just come and you don't know how they got there, but they came, they're there, good. And then there's controlled traffic, and that's traffic where you're running an ad, right? You might have a Facebook ad, YouTube ad, whatever type of ad that you're running, and you control that traffic because you picked demographic settings, right? And you might have even some sort of retargeting mechanism through a pixel or something like that. So you have a sense of control of that audience or that traffic and how it comes to you. But owning the traffic, owning the audience, is when they come to the website, they come to this streaming page, whether they were controlled or not, when they came there, you figured out how to turn that into an ownership situation, whether that meant you were selling merch or something like that, so you collected their information, or whether you just had some kind of free offering where they gave you their email to get it. Whatever that is, but you now have this information where you own it. And that's something that you can take anywhere, any business. If Facebook dies today, if Instagram goes down, there's always gonna be a new platform that comes up that you'll be able to market on using people's emails. And, you know, as scary as it might seem, you can actually just send the people an email. But anyway, that full interview will be dropping soon. I'm excited for you guys to see it. Definitely stay tuned for it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.